Shakishana Hini Karagiwi, Nachke Wachaki Winga Waha Nankshana. Hey all, it's me, Nachke. Welcome to this week's module of the Hoyt A program. Let me pull up our PowerPoint and we'll get started. All right, so the verb for this week is Gihana. And Gihana means to move or to change dwellings. So in this module, learner will be able to tell about yourself moving. Learner will be able to ask another about moving and you will be able to tell about another person moving. All right, so Gihana, that's your third person verb and that's he, she, or it changes dwelling or moves. Hi, Hana, first person, I change dwelling. Rai Hana, second person, that's you change dwelling. And we're also going to review days of the week. Okay, so up here we have our, our verb and our conjugations. So we've got gihana, haihana, raihana. And on this slide, we're going to be talking about past tense. So I moved this past Sunday. I moved this past Sunday. So you're gonna set your sentence up. Um, you're gonna start with, Sunday passed, and then the verb, I moved. Haramihe hamp regi hai khana. Haramihe hamp regi hai khana. Did you move this weekend? Did you move this weekend? Now remember, we're talking about past tense. So um, this past weekend, and then you move. Haramihe hoje janare rai khana. Haramihe hoje janare rai khana. And then he moved last week. He moved last week. So you're going to say, say last week first, and then he moved the verb all by itself. Haramihe hinji huwira gi khana. Haramihe hinji huwira gi khana. So last week, haramihe hinji huwira. That means um, week and then hinji huwira, it passed us by. It's gone. It's past. All righty, future tense sentences. So when we're talking about future tense, we're going to add a jane to the end of the verb, right? So again, gihana is he, she, or it. Hai khana, I. Rai khana, you. I'm going to move on Saturday. I'm going to move on Saturday. Remember, TSOV, time, subject, object, verb, is how we put up our sentences. So you're going to start with Saturday, and then I'm moving the verb and Jenny at the end. What do we hump the A? Hi, Hanunk Janet. What do we hump the A? Hi, Hanunk Janet. You could also say, What do we hump G? That would also fly. Are you moving this weekend? Are you moving this weekend? So you need weekend, future tense, and then the verb, you move future tense. Haramihe hoje janagi rai khanank chenen. Haramihe hoje janagi rai khanank chenen. And then when is she moving? When future tense is she moving future tense? Ja janagi Good job, y'all. Okay, and then here's just some miscellaneous sentences that I made up. So, Okay, so this is past tense because at the end of the verb, haikana, there's, there's nothing. There's no future tense marker. So the word hojishana. We may have um, gone over this in the past, but it's something good to know. Recently, Hojishana is recently. 
and then Haikana moved. So I recently moved, which I actually did. I moved this past um, weekend. So yay. All right. Here's another um, word, soon. Soon, um, are you going to be moving soon? And then last, Higuana Yi Hanunk Jade. Higuana Yi Hanunk Jade. All right, so this has a different ending. It's not Kjane, it's Jade. When you say Kje, it means have to when you end it with that. So he has to move right away. Higuana is right away. And then Gi Hanunk Jade, he has to. All right, so that's it for this week. Make sure you join us on Wednesday. We have our eminent speaker section at 11 a.m. That'll be on Zoom and Facebook Live. And then Thursday, we'll be practicing this verb with a fun game. And that'll be Thursday at 11 a.m. That'll be again on Zoom or you can Facebook Live. I'm sorry, yeah, Facebook. Um, so be sure to check out our YouTube page if you have, um, if you want to review anything and let us know if you have any questions or comments. Pina Gigi Wee, Jige Honey Chuck See you all again.